so first of all let me warmly welcome all of you to the third webinar organized by the public events and knowledge sharing subcommittee of the library and publication standing committee of isl yeah uh, Mr. Basic, Masan, Masan, yes. you can can check from isl whether is audible ah yes okay are you in isl uh, or not in the office uh, no sir ah okay you can check whether the is audible if the okay right Continue. okay okay so i think i'm audible right, since right. you can hear me now okay uh, so uh, uh, so the basic aim behind this lecture is to give knowledge to our practicing engineers undergraduates uh, construction industry professionals uh, and to the community at large a basic understanding about the construction safety in sri lanka uh, so we thought of inviting uh, one of the country's prominent engineers in engineering safety practices uh, he has over 37 years experience in the industry. Uh, so we thought that to share his views and ideas with the construction industry professionals. Uh, and before in introducing our guest for today, uh, let me remind you all uh, that your mics will be muted throughout the webinar. Uh, however, you can direct your questions through messages and you can raise your hand and ask uh, questions during the question and answering session at the end of the presentation. And uh, at that time, maybe we can uh, let you speak also. Uh, now, let me introduce our resource person for today's webinar, Engineer Lakshman Gracious Jans. He graduated in BSc Engineering in Faculty of Engineering, University of Moratua in 1985, specialized in the field of mechanical engineering. Uh, after graduation in 1985, he joined the Industrial Safety Division of Department of Labor under the Ministry of Labor and held many positions, such as a uh, factory inspecting engineer, uh, district factory engineer, specialist factory inspecting engineer, deputy commissioner, Acting Commissioner of Lab, uh, Deputy Commissioner of Lab, and Deputy, uh, Deputy Chief Factory Inspecting Engineer, and also a Commissioner of Lab, uh, Chief Factory Inspecting Engineer, and finally, he served as the additional Commissioner General Engineer. Uh, when talking about his journey with IESL, uh, he joined the Institution of Engineers Sri Lanka as an associate member in 1986 and he achieved his professional qualification as a corporate member and a chartered engineer in 1993. He has been continuing his uh, membership of ISL since 1986, and he acquired his fellow membership in 2012. He has written energy audit articles and I think over 20 safety engineering articles for Sri Lanka Labor Gazette, and also for the ISL newsletters. Also, he has undergone various trainings and fellowships in Japan, Switzerland, South Korea, Fiji, Thailand, Malaysia, and India. He's also an OHSS 18001 Safety Management System Auditor and qualified so uh, now without further ado, I would like to invite engineer Lakshman Jans to continue with today's lecture. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Okay, uh, good evening to all. Uh, I will mute all. No. Right. Uh, is uh, Fasan, uh, am I audible to you? Okay. Yes, sir. You're audible. Right. You can unmute and if if I ask question, you can unmute and uh, talk. Then no problem. Uh, at the end, uh, we will uh, give time to you ask questions. Uh, actually, it's now uh, 10, 12 minutes, nearly 12 minutes past. Actually, this program, construction safety, I studied in Japan, uh, 12 weeks, nearly three months program. 
it's very difficult to cover within one hour anyway i will try my best to cover the uh, prevailing situation in sri lanka right okay uh, therefore these pictures are not uh, in uh, all in the internet from the internet okay this uh, what is uh, construction safety right uh, sri lankan situation and uh, what is the law prevailing in sri lanka covering the employees uh, under the construction safety covered in the factory ordinance okay factory ordinance if you need i will show you that uh, you only to 75 kilobyte at any time you can download the google if you type factory ordinance you can download uh, that is the only law available in this country to look after safety health and welfare of employees <coughs> any any work right the only law no other law to look after the workman uh, what do you call safety health welfare here the two words here construction safety then uh, you may be aware better than me uh, because you may be in the industry uh, now only i am after last september from after last september i am joined the private sector and uh, i am uh, helping as a what do you call <coughs> safety engineer there the construction site and uh, the you are here i hope you are having a lot of experience in the what is the situation in sri lanka the it is very the what you call safety situation is very pathetic very very i am very reluctant to say but uh, how can't help we have to we have to admit we have to accept the truth right therefore uh, if you consider this uh, situation here right in the in the construction right there are so many what you call uh, you can see fall injuries okay and the pictures are here this also from internet uh, serious claims what is called back pain and uh, traumatic joint uh, like that uh, what you call fall from height uh, death caused you know electricity is a good servant bad master and uh, it is shows only here the the picture i hope you can see the picture here uh i hope you can see the picture here can you see the picture here then yes, caused by uh, contact with electricity you see only two pin here as a common sense you are adult more than 18 means we are adult more than 18 years age mean we are adult uh, two two pin mean live and neutral no no earth available here but sri lankan system is three pin yeah the, the the picture itself showing that this is not safe therefore they should be go they should be con, the, the whatever the equipment you are going to use to be double insulated i will show the pictures and all square inside and the square the mark to be there in the specification and uh, okay therefore no earth here but that is domestic not for the three phase and also other serious uh, right accidents claimed by uh, carpenters juniors and you can see here we will proceed to the next right and you see right there is a message for you uh, there are two laws uh, related to the construction industry one is factory ordinance that is from the labor department because regulatory authority right for the labor or the workers regulatory authority is the labor department to they are the they prepare the laws right and finally passed by the parliament the long procedure that is for the factory zone but the workman compensation is uh, separate commissioner the my boss was commissioner general i am additional at that time right but the workman compensation is the commissioner is the head but he coming under the ministry our department also under the ministry workman compensation division also under the ministry two different uh, sections 
our department is labor department the workman compensation is that this belongs to the right workman compensation division therefore this is directly uh, under the ministry therefore this two different act uh, our our idea is to preventing the accidents right the labor department main concept main uh, what you call target preventing accident prevent the accident dangerous occurrence and industrial disease you know there are three things right safety health welfare means engineering medicine psychology like i will explain later and uh, if the employer could employer could prevent the accident the victim employee will be a victim to the accident then he he is uh, liable is liable to have a compensation then this act come into picture this workman compensation will come into picture if the factory ordinance uh could stop that accident or prevent that accident okay then the some you know in sri lanka daily accident happening i will show you the statistics now right and you can see non fatal and fatal accidents then our our uh, industrial safety division is tried to stop this all accidents but accidents are happen you know why the attitude and the uh, employees are not trained properly and no awareness given not only that seasonal workers mostly in the construction industry i will talk to the construction today because if i try to talk everything i i, I want therefore the earlier it was 5 and a half lakhs if in case if somebody has died or uh, lost his both eyes both hand both legs like that 100% disablement partial disablement mean the chart come into picture the maximum compensation was 5 and a half lakh according to the salary the high salary uh, and half but uh, from uh, Well, long ago, nearly nearly twenty years, requesting to increase. Fortunately, our new minister was able to, sir, uh, yeah, Nimal Sir Pardi Silva able to uh, pass by the parliament. Now it is two million twenty lakhs. Even you will be benefited. Even now, I am benefited because. Uh, now i am working in a private industry but then if i got injured i am benefited i can go up to 2, 2 million to 20 lakhs even you are a employee you are, you are if you are getting a remuneration salary you are entitled to this from 19th of march okay this uh, gazetted date normally the the law was taken gazetted date not the date passed by the parliament because gazetted date only general public they came to know the law to be act number 10 of 2020 this year uh, 19th was passed by the parliament gazette will come very soon therefore this is a new message for you uh, but the government idea is to preventing the accident if you prevent the accident you need not to pay compensation and you need not to uh, lose anything and employer also no uh, lose anything or govern the, even the country won't lose anything therefore i, I hope you got the point right the, this the chart now earlier it was 5 and a half lakhs now it is 20 lakhs but starting from 12 lakhs here 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs for it to salary if the salary is uh, here nearly so you can here 80000 more than 80000 if your monthly salary is more than 80000 is here twalala kam karwage masika vetani more than 80000 means you are liable you can claim up to 20 right because if he is dead nobody to there to he can't get it but his family wife and children they can kids they can okay uh this these things will be available in the internet and this from this what you call presentation recording after the recording you can get it from the isl website right or the um, uh, what you call youtube okay 
therefore no point to waiting i told you that fatal and non fatal accident reported to industrial safety division of the department this the only division in sri lanka in any department the on, under the this labor department here <coughs> getting the accident statistics for the workmen not the road accidents but in other country other uh, abroad foreign countries they are taking this road accidents even developed countries uh, they are taking road accidents as a uh, reportable what you call workman accident but sri lanka uh, not yet included because still factories is there factory mean workplace therefore agriculture or the uh, fishery agriculture informal by the side of the road small industries workplaces are there informal sector not coming formal and the factories are covered by the factories division factories ordinance therefore these are the accident report from 2007 to 2020 you you can later you can go through this no time to waste here you see you can see the fatal increasing from from uh, 77 to it goes up to 2018 to uh, 103 this means reported only only 1% or 0.5% this, this is 20 times maybe or 100 times right reported accident but uh, after 2019 reducing 84 71 i hope you can understand why corona due to corona some industries were closed and employees didn't go for work so the accidents fatal reducing not only that non fatal this fatal means you know that dead right no longer the person is no longer non fatal is reducing from you can see here non fatal 1755 to it is reducing but the curve is still uh, somewhat goes up in the 2018 yes 67 and it is reducing now non fatal reducing but fatal so the you can see this the Uh, we can't predict here because uh, prediction different difficult to say why the not everybody reporting even you we may be knowing in your industry they are reluctant to report they may say they may think if reported they will be prosecuted but is that is that is not the case if they reported they may say they will be prosecuted no prosecution we call court case that is that the, that, is, that is not the case you are you are liable to report if you are reported that you are you are safe action cannot be take, taken if you are reported means that you are uh, follow the law law in this country obey the law in this country therefore uh, there won't be any cases i hope you can got the point if you any problem yeah. if you are not reported we are violating the law we are violating the law because the first say that the law say accident to be reported according to the prevailing factories ordinance to be section 61 the accident to be reported you, these are the thing uh, time is catching up uh, the but in the construction if you go to the construction industry uh, you is very much important is the what you call uh, means of escape right in plan or in case of fire even they even i have been twice in japan even before putting up the building they are filing uh, right or the soil testing at that time sand soil test but they have the plan what is the 100 or story building they have the plan all story multi story but in sri lanka even they have finished the building the no plan because the employees don't know where to go in case of emergency <laughs> this is main purpose is under section 39 of the factories ordinance it is clearly indicated the assembly area here in case of uh, fire or whatever it is right you have to go to the the sudden collapse of the building maybe you have to go to the assembly area then you may ask uh, what is the area the the, top, the area will be 0.3 square meters per person right you need a person to go and stay in a place 1 foot square that is point nearly 0.3 square meter per person into number of person if you multiply number of person you say say about 100 people are working in the in a workplace 
you multiply by 0 0.3, 30 meter square. You can take it 10 into 3, right? You can, the, uh, the queue, you can not to go and play there, only to stay until the emergency is finished, until the problem is solved. Then okay, you, you can go back to the, if the uh, problem is solved, you can go back to the building until such time you have to be stay in the, there's another thumb rule where the, what do you call the assembly area to be in front of the building. If I ask a question, why? Right, you can answer in the, uh, the latter part of the lecture. Right, if I ask a question, why? Why the, in, in front of the building? Maybe in the, if your land is available backside, right? Yes, sir. The reason is when collapsing, right? If you are in backside, you, you may <coughs> under the building sometime. Nobody do, don't know. That may The other one, to go to the assembly area from here, this is the way the path shows. I hope you can see this, uh, what do you call the pathway diagram, right? I hope you can see the arrow mark here. Yeah? Ola to go. But you are here. You see, you can see here. I hope you can see the, the what you call arrow, right? You can go from, there are so many ways to go here. Not only one exit of this building. All to show the, how to go to this assembly area. Therefore, you should have to have a site plan also. You should have to have a site plan. Site yes, plan. Sir. Right. If you have the site plan only, you should know how to go to there. Not only site plan, the assembly area. How to go to the assembly? You have to draw this picture from the ground floor to the until to, to say you are two, two story, three story, whatever multi story, you have to draw the, those. This is to the awareness to the employee. This is the law, our law, practice ordinance. This is the law brought from British 1942 but it was uh, amended, amended in 1949, sorry, 46, and it was passed by the parliament, uh, the 46, and uh, finally it was appointed date. You clearly understand appointed date was 1950, January 1st. But notified date, problem for something. That is, was nearly uh, 2019, uh, we, I am additional commissioner at that time, we were able to go to the parliament and get five regulation i will explain later right and the it is better to go within two to three minutes why the concrete will collapse after three minutes if it's a high temperature therefore maximum given three minutes that is for the non-combustible if it is combustible two minutes combustible you know what is combustible and combustible Concrete is non-combustible, three minutes. Non-combustible paper material, whatever, they, it can cut five in two minutes. Two, these are thumb rules, right? 0.3 meter square per person to multiply by number of person. So one thumb rule, two to three minutes. And there is distance also there. Okay, then no time to waste here. This, this diagram as engineers, you should know, right? I hope you know, right? Okay. Anyway, right. Uh, then if I ask a question, you can unmute and talk. This construction, do you know what is the language? The construction, is act, this actually construction, construction. If you pronounce it, it construction. The origin, origin of this. Anybody, can anybody say what is the origin of this construction word? It's from Latin. Right? But as engineers, you know that what is construction. Therefore, uh, the wasting time is uh, for this, no point. I told you construction safety, two words. The action of building something, typically a large structure. And cinemas buildings, erection, whatever you're building, you're building erection, putting up, setting up, raising, establishment, assembly, manufacture, fabrication, Forming, fashioning, contributing, creation, making. You see this erection come when you erecting a boiler. It's erection. The, the, the only I will read, I am not going to explain, I am not going to translate uh, or interpret because there are so many uh, hints to be 
uh, points to be given, right? Thumb rule are there. If I waste time to reading these things, uh, you want, uh, it's not enough time to give this, those thumb, the one thumb rule I gave you in the, to go to the assembly area. Uh, the, how you, how to, how to calculate the assembly area, the area, total area and the time and the, uh, the distance also. The process of building of assembling in, in infrastructure, a complex activity, large scale construction involves extensive multitasking. A job is managed by a project manager. You may be aware who is project manager, right? And supervised by a construction manager, a design engineer, construction engineer, or the project architect, right? Uh, if you have any question, you can raise the hand. Recommendation for small employers with construction. You know, Sri, Sri Lanka, uh, very few uh, multi, uh, big, uh, large scale. Uh, I, I'm not going to say the name if you, are, you may be aware of that. If you want, I will say one is uh, Maga, Thudave, like that. Very few, right? Sunken. And here, this is, I'm talking here, uh, the small employers. Plans was if you have to plan it, but it is major industry. They are normally they have the system. Train your foreman, train workers, foreman or supervisor, especially new seasonal. You may be knowing seasonal, right? Construction workers are seasonal. They may come today, tomorrow, this place, tomorrow, another place, then finally they will go home. No, no. They won't come back after the new year. And experienced workers. Score yourself on how well you design your project from inception. Okay, how you design. Okay, then I will show some uh, what you call uh, best practices. Said best practices, vice versa, health and safety, futurism. If you want to prevent accident, is it? Uh, can you see the picture? Clean display and discipline. If not, I have to share again. Can you see the some entrance of the factory? Entrance of a workplace? Hassan? Hassan? Can you see there's a fire yes, point on the same slide? Uh, we can't see, sir. Okay, I have to, I have to, uh, that I have to uh, what do you call, uh, share again. I hope you can see now. Yes, can you can. This is called yeah. entrance, right? The, uh, not everywhere. This is one of the factory at Katnaik. You, you see at the entrance, fire point, very rare. Only the, the discipline industry, and they are, very, they are safety conscious. Maybe knowing who, what is safety conscious, right? They give priority for the safety because they, they are valued their employees, right? That is clean display and Discipline, the cleanness there, display, they are displaying things and discipline also. Okay. And uh, this means of escape plan here they have at the entrance. Normally, the means of escape plan to be at the entrance, every floor you can have it separately because employees inside. Then here, no site plan. That's why I asked the question where's site plan? I hope it's a slight, slight movie. Is the slide moving? Can you see the uh, means of escape plan with the hanging on the board, the wall? Yes, yes, sir, we can see. Okay, right. If you if you can't see that the slide is not moving, please let me know. Otherwise, I am explaining, but you won't get the point. Right? You see the guarded, yes. guarded uh, machineries were guarded. These are called a permanent guard, right? Fixed guard. Anyway, you can you have to go quickly. These are positive. I am so showing before showing what is happening in Sri Lanka. They are positive and negative. Mostly no, percentage is negative. Is either unguarded is unsafe active, unsafe condition and unsafe factor are very high. But still, there are some places they are uh, up to the standard safety standard. Not only that, they are maintaining their uh, what you call safety condition, safety measures. You see, can you see the staircase? Very rare. 
the wall side. This is next side. You can see my curse I move. Right. Wall side, can you see there's a handrail? Yes. Even university, I never see. Very difficult. Okay. So you can see that still this, this is after we requested, after we have, we have done audit, uh, what do you call uh, the uh, Ambevela milk factory, they requested, they put, they have rectified now. This is what, but this should have been done at the initial stage when they building, when they putting up the building, they have the groove and this handrail to be inside the wall. Then they, they can, uh, what do you call, uh, prevented this unnecessary cost. Nearly four to six inch they lost here. Wall side, even staircase is, you know, staircase very, very narrow. In that they are losing here, nearly six inch. Why? The wall, up to the wall, the, the handrail to be inside. Can you understand what I am telling? This, if the handrail is inside the wall, you can hold it without injuring your hand. There should be groove. You know what is groove? Right. If you don't understand what I am telling, this they have done after our request. But this should have been done before the building put up before they, um, what do you call plastering? They have had a groove all, all, all along this. Can you understand what I'm telling? Can you, have you got the point what I'm telling? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, if I, then that's why this shows the, what do you call, not only that, the angle here. Can you see the angle? This uh, ramp and stairs, and it is finally you can see the the staircase angle handrail and you can see in the next picture you can see the clearly you see handrail to be 90 centimeter that means or oh, less than one meter this is shows here 34 to 38 inches this is handrail the in between mid rail <coughs> you can see here this opening here this side not the wall side other side other side, there's an opening. Even if you have a handrail, in between handrail and the stairs, you can fall. In. Can you understand what I'm telling? There's a gap. Can anybody fall? In? There in between, you have to put a, you have to put a, what do you have to put? Another rail, that's called mid rail. Now you can see here, stairs here. If you are a civil engineer, you can understand this thing. Not only that, the angle also given here, 18, and this was going 30 degree when you're starting the what you call uh, staircase. And you can, you can go up to 50 here, stairs. And this distance you can see here from the steps. From the steps, this was the 34 to 38 inches. In between, with rail coming. Then this is for step ladders and raised fixed ladders, two plates and uh, ladders with uh, rungs or cleats. You may be knowing that what I'm uh, talking the angle of stairway. If you are stair slope, rise, run, chart. This is a very small thing. Okay. I hope if you are, I don't know if the participants are civil, civil engineers or I don't know. Can anybody, are there any civil engineers here? This uh, person is a civil. Yeah. Mostly civil engineers. If you, you know this. There and no point also from it. other. Yeah, no point to wasting time. I'll go quickly. You see the ventilation. The engineers mean you know what is ventilation, air movement, PP, personal protective equipment, and what else? Cleanness, you see the enough space here. And you see the, uh, this called discipline. Not only that, housekeeping. This is better housekeeping. Okay. The welding here, they have the, uh, what you call, uh, firefighting equipment and the safety shoe and the uniform, the overall and the face shield, whatever the requirement, even they have put up uh, caution, hot work area. To whom? Those who coming along the, walking along the route, they're giving awareness. There's building, welding going on, be careful. 
the if you put a sign board this man also conscious cautious not only that the, the, the those who are walking along this way they are got they got the awareness okay and you can see here guarded securely guarded this term you should know the fact is what this term terminology the fact securely guarded then that means you can't play with these guards it's a permanent guard okay similarly here fixed guard here fixed bar means you can put the hand but it won't touch the machine you can insert the hand but you can't go inside you have to go along through the gate gate this are called fixed guard permanent guard right these are the things as not only that even this also fixed guard and the when the when you have a tank even water tank content and capacity to be marked it is in the law it is in the factory order whatever the tank you have in the workplace because if the fire brigades come they don't know whether you have water or carbide if they put water to the your carbide tank what happened what happened to the water mix with the carbide acetylene energy there will be fire acetylene oxy acetylene if the oxy is meddling they need the acetylene therefore to be very careful like this you have to put the tank capacity also the content capacity you have to put i, I hope you can see my cursor try right. try right. this is a fixed guard and even if you have a well tank or water tank activities okay right you should have to have, have to put this uh, content and capacity this is to prevent accident i mean you are forecasting and that's all for the this this uh, right right okay what i have what mentioned here this is uh, uh, workplace best practices what i show is the breakfast best practices that for uh, health and safety future otherwise will be i have changed this slide now i have changed the slide are you okay i have changed the slide yes sir we only see this uh, uh place 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 place. okay right right yeah. right okay yeah. now uh, the for a construction site after i came from japan i have prepared a what you call uh, this uh, you are manual for a construction worker safety and health manual now it's a new slide your manual for safety and health at construction site the new slide if you are not visible please let me know i have to share again your manual for safety and health at construction site is it visible We, uh, we no, can't see okay right, right. i will show you i will show you i will show you i will show you your line is not clear i don't know the link now how about this how is how about now you are manual for safety and health at construction site so word 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 for not the ppt is it visible you are manual for your manual for safety and health at construction site is it visible yes it is visible okay so i am not going to read there are rules health rules right 10 health rules and safety rules are there yeah. before entering a site for employment read understand and fill the manual for to whom employee Em, em, employee, employee, even you, engineer, chief engineer, whatever you are, employee, because you are getting a salary, right? Even project manager or the project director or the direct what you call uh, project coordinator, who, right? Even safety manager, if you are getting a salary, there is the employee to be. You also to everybody normally. In I I I saw these manuals were. Uh, given to everybody, every employee at Japan at the 
very first day they gave a book and they had to put their photograph and there are so many things there in the manual no time to explain the solution available in the internet and if you need i can send this pdf to uh, isl then you can get the thing also uh, no time to read if we, we have time i will come back uh, before starting to work for the first time those who are newcomers and who are on the job always remember like that all are uh, what do you call uh, give advices given you see this safety rules on site right i have i have compare with our law our law there is a section 91 for the practice ordinance for employees the one that's the one and only section available in the practice ordinance the, you know are you aware there is a law practice ordinance or law called practice ordinance available in this country hasan are you aware Please speak, anybody. If you are not aware, I will explain. Otherwise, wasting time. There is a law. I have explained earlier also. There is a law, safety, health, and welfare law available in this country. That is called Factory Ordinance. Are you aware? Nobody talking. You can unmute and talk. Hasan, can you hear me? in that law practice on there are 131 sections all for the rules were given to employers employer seva yojikya only one section section 95 was only for the employee the 130 for employers seva yojikya sevakya ikai one and only for the employee that is section 9 Right, strictly observe the safety rules on site, uh, work precautions and routine rules. National law also our law says that convenience provided for securing safety, health and welfare. Factory order section and duties of person. This is called duties of person. Person's duty is he is liable. It's the national law. The right okay that is mentioned here. Uh, the and Ten safety rules here. No time to read. Ten health rules. You can read later. Later, all the uh, information given to prevent accident because uh, you have to go back uh, home safely. That's the main uh, what you call objective. Therefore, I will just uh, what you call scroll down. Acquaint yourself with your work site. Right, you have to familiar with your uh, and uh, awareness of dangers. Uh, we are close with your pp whatever necessary to be yeah you are safety helmet and safety harness are you aware safety harness not safety belt try right. safety gloves safety glasses safety masks ear plugs and ear muffs and sign for your safety sign boards also sometime available in the work site It's a it must. It's a must to provide pathways, pathway demarcation. Also, some after finishing the work, they can put pathway demarcations. Better to all are for the prevent to prevent the accident, not to collapse. Whenever you are move, some try to okay. And there are so many things. Uh, yeah, it's a catching up time. Therefore, I just scroll down. Inspect all tools before using, because at the entrance the safety officers, the safety officer. Have you heard about safety officer? The law says the safety officer must check at the gate. He must check at the gate, not allowing unauthorized equipment and unsafe equipment. It it is prevented from the gate. You understand? It is not allowed. Not uh, after is not allowed after uh, getting to the equipment or getting to the site and then preventing. Okay, the wasting time at the gate itself is taking. If the employee, uh, what contractor bringing some tools outside from our, I told you that two pin tools. 
maybe hand grinder, hand drills, so many equipment, two pin, so there's a danger. If two pin, there should be double insulation mark. If not, there are danger. Therefore, those things are to be prevented at the gate. Who, who, who will be preventing? Safety officer of that main contractor or the subcontract. He, because they, they now some places, even I know big, uh, big uh, industry, they provide PPE for the employee, but some, uh, what do you call, uh, contractor, what they do, they say the employee, you have to bring the equipment. They bring the equipment without, it's not, not to the standard, not up to the standard, it's not safe. This is totally wrong, two pins and sometimes damage wire, so many things, that's the thing explained to you. Those were not allowed at the gate. Then where the safety officer, where, uh, where to, to be available, the morning, when the when the entering employees entering to the site, safety officer to be at the gate, to not allowing to bring any unwanted things to the site. Therefore, safety officer, like security, is on the gate to check the equipment, whatever your raw material bringing to the site to be checked. Then you can stop at the gate. The danger to be stopped at the gate, not don't allow to get into the site. Okay, these are things orderly sequence and in uh, tools. Inspect all tools before using, right? And uh, step ladders. There are so many things here uh, because I I hope this. Uh, here uh, working on the roof and how you uh, when laying concrete, uh, when working with forms, shoring up, and so many things. Working with uh, reinforcing bars and Derek can the, how the lifting machines, Derek can uh, the tower cranes or cranes, uh, how they are to how you ha handle uh, manual digging and shoveling, and so many things. Fire prevention and electricity. Our tools, dusty work, and everything covered in this manual. Right? Using organic solvents, you may be using some time paint. It's so organic, what you call the it's a, what do you call chemical. Mm, noisy, the environment, noisy vibrating work, working under high pressure. This all all about mention yala, even information to prevent the accident. Right? Uh, managing your health. Finally, if you are staying there. No matter living, if you are staying in the site, right? That's also in, in explained here how you can prevent, right? Okay, these are so many informations available here, nearly, nearly 10, yes, 11 pages. This thing you can get it in the internet and uh, these details are very important for you to, all the informations here, uh, you just read and you can understand those things. Okay, now I have to go to the next slide. Uh, right, because um, time is catching up because uh, difficult to move now. Otherwise, I don't think uh, I can finish the yes balance. Okay, right. Okay, right. Uh, these are the things. Uh, anyway. Right, and uh, this is what here. Right. right, I hope uh, you can understand that what I have said. Then similarly, safety work cycle W five and five W and H, when, where, who, what, why, and how. This is uh, safety work cycle. Uh, uh, to this all uh, how to prevent the accident every morning before start of birth, the information or the whatever the advice to be given at the work site in principle the leader uh, what uh, provide oral instruction because they they sometimes they they are not they can't uh, what you call write why to ensure full understanding of the work instruction to allow safe to and effective work performance on the day and safety work. they have to go back without accident how explain if they can't understand the what you call uh, language they have to draw the diagram right uh, in a blackboard or whiteboard explain safe work procedure the safe work first very important right 
this the the next section for the construction i told you there's only there are about two sections one is section 95 this one is uh, a section the section 84 the factory ordinance building and other construction work is coming under the factory ordinance under section 84 the, the this this sections uh, what are the related sections in the factory on all are mentioned here right but the legislation pertaining to construction work all mentioned here if you if you uh, check the section 84 of the factory ordinance you can see the available uh, the other sections uh, related to the constructions okay and the other this one i have explained you duties of persons employed willfully should not interfere with or misuse any use of ex appliance for convenience provide for security safety health welfare use the appliances provided for safety. if they are provided the appliances you have to use it even what do you call pp the the uh, what do you call employer or the contractor provided you have to you must use it right not to do anything like to endanger himself they can't endanger themselves or others so no. this is the section 95 summary and similarly safety rules are here you are responsible for your own safety and safety what this say safety is everybody's responsible wear personal protective equipment necessary for the job that's a must otherwise it is uh, if you had any injury accident you are you can't claim for the uh, compensation if you are not using pp or the uh the advice the the the, the given uh of what do you call information instructions you are if you are not followed you won't get the uh, compensation right always use equipment tools machinery safely and properly lift properly using your legs and not your back are you know are you aware in sri lanka we don't have any what do you call standard for the weight A lifting weight for a human being even you are using your both hand but international they have international uh, standard international they say 20 kilo or you can go maximum 25 kilo only they can lifting when you are lifting from the ground for both hand better to get 10 10 kilo each to both hand 10 plus 10 20 if you are uh, lifting into your back maybe high if you are both for two person you can go up to 40 kilos right only 20 kilos is the max but this is not in our rule because regulations were not yet passed therefore that is says lifting keep your work area clean wear appropriate and safe work uh, clothing and footwear report any unsafe con- if there is unsafe condition before accident your duty is to report that's your duty clean up uh, spills immediately report all injuries and this says uh, no alcohol or drugs to be used or allowed for company even you can uh, what you call smoke drinking a smoke uh, prohibited inside the uh, workplace okay and also here uh, there are industrial hazards and risks in the industrial uh, what you call uh, industry means a factory or the construction site you can say industry the construction site coming site coming under the industry hazards present in construction that the, the safety come into picture to the construction site normally uh, normally normal at a office normally physical chemical biological ergonomical and uh, psychosocial or the workload is the normally in the office setup these are the hazards right? but if you go to the factory or the construction the safety also included here there are Uh, six normally for our office there are five type right but uh, if you consider the factory or the construct there is safety also to be done. exposure to these hazards can cause industrial disease right ill health conditions and accident these are the, what you call the, the explanations given to the safety hazards physical hazards chemical hazards biological hazards ergonomic hazards uh, psychosocial uh, yeah, and the workload yeah physiological Psychological, psychological and workload hazards and uh, i'm not going to read these things but these are common you may be aware 
because we have to go to the this uh, it is what you call summarized here identify the hazard and risk evaluate the risk eliminate the risk find an alternative isolate the risk and personal preventive if nothing works get out of there right? if you don't have any solution don't go there to that side if if our accidents are happening very frequently right then the place is not safe unsafe condition therefore that's it there are seven steps in the, in the like seven seven days in japan there is a story and the film right seven days they are like this is seven steps there are seven steps you can see here in these seven steps they explain this way i don't know can you see whether you can see this <laughs> Can you see the crocodile principle movie? Can you see the crocodile principle? The PowerPoint is moving. If not, please let me know. I will share. Nobody is talking. Is it visible? Hello. Hello. The crocodile principle. Not moving. Nobody talking. It's not moving. Yes, sir. Ah, it's not moving. Okay, Hello? I will. Okay, right. Hello? I will show you. Yes, I will show you. Right. Right. Hello? right I can hear. I can hear. Right. Right. I can hear. I will show you. I will show you again. Right. Sir, are you aware? Have you heard about this crocodile principle? Have you heard about crocodile principle? Uh, no, sir. All right. Okay. Now you can see. Right. Now you can see. I hope. Uh, Let me see, uh, is it visible for you? Now, the crocodile principle, the seven steps explained in a concept manner. Uh, are you okay now? Yes, sir. Now is it, we can see. It's moving, right? But are the, I, have, I have mentioned seven steps. Yes. Right? Identify the hazard. Evaluate the hazard. And like that, find an alternative. This is how you going to manage the your problem. Isolate the risk and personal protective is the last resort, right? You have to remember that word, last resort. Uh, beyond that, no, no other solution. Okay, that's all. Now you got the point. Right. This is what this is. Okay. This all seven steps explained in the. Okay. Right. We have to move uh, to go back to the earlier slides now. Right. We come back to the previous slides. Okay. Is it uh, is a new slide now? Construction safety topic. Are you okay? Yes. Construction safety topic slide is here. Construction safety topic slide is here. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody talks. Yes, sir. We can see it. And that's yes. the thing. Yeah. If you give the feedback, we without wasting time, we can go back. We can, we can see it, sir. Okay. Site organization. Everything organize organization, right? You have to organize the site first. Everything you need to know about organizing a safe and healthy construction site. Right? The very the very beginning when you are selecting the site, right? Slips, trips, falls. Okay, work at height, structural stability. No time now. Uh, time is six uh, seven thirty. Therefore, I have to go quickly. Uh, and cranes, the mid lifting machine, electricity, fire mobile plant and uh, vehicles, demolition. This all you will get through uh, if you download the, the 
presentation today. You can read it later. No time. I, I'm not going to read or oh, what you call uh, translate it. This one. Now I have mentioned you. Now I have moved the slides to industry. I have divided this industry word into three parts. Right? This call this a concept. Industry I'm taking as a concept. Sankalpa. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Yes, sir. Is, yes. Is, you, is it visible? Visible this new slide? Yes, yes. Yeah, industry slide. Yeah, it is visible. Surface and construction. You see, industry is in means you are in coming into the work, coming into work. If you are not coming into work, you are not going to face any hazard. When you are entering the workplace only, if there is slips maybe at the entrance. If there is water in the entrance, then maybe you may slip. Then be very careful at the entrance. When you are in means you are coming for work, you are entering for, you are put in, then maybe you are coming for work, then only you will get the salary. If you are at home, no hazard, no risk, no salary. Then when you are coming for work, this is not only dust. Here it is hazard in the workplace, means hazard. Therefore, you have to identify the hazard. That's what the coconut principle says. First, you identify the hazards. What are the hazards available when you are from your entering, your gate to the site, the, even in the site? Entrance, then hazard identification, then you are assessing the risk. That is your like checklist. You are checking. The dust is one point, point, point. 0.3 to 5 microns, the danger zone. Normally, here you can see the micron level, right? Particle di diameter. Then, if less than 0.3, near, nearly here, 0.3 micron means 0.3 micron. Uh, in your uh, no, nostril, your mu mucus, you have the viscous. It will uh, read, uh, not. It will not allow to go the smaller particle, less than 0.3 part. Listen very carefully. Beyond that, it's allowed to go, right? Big particle, five, more than five micro here. Your mustache, you have, what do you call? Traveler, saha, abage, the guard, that's the guard, right? Big particle will, will uh, stay in your mustache. Can you understand what I'm telling? Loku Kali, dust particles will be available in the mustache. Anit 0.3 to 5 micron, they have a chance to go inside your lungs. Those things will affect. Silicon will affect as silicosis, asbestos will affect as asbestosis, and what else? Cotton will affect as bisinosis. Right? Silicosis, bisinosis, and asbestos. Asbestos is the very danger. Right? Shortness of breath, it will uh, not allow to, what do you call, expand your lungs. It will, the, the, the asbestos particles, will, the size all mentioned here, <clears throat> what, do, what is the exposure here, right? And the, that's called permissible level, exposure limit. If you, if you asbestos particles go to the lungs, it will have a, what do you call, growth will be there, so a big problem. Similarly, the silicon and uh, what do you call the, the, the cotton dust, uh, there is a lung disease. Asbestos directly is maybe uh, very, what do you call, very dangerous, very quick and uh, shortness of your lungs won't expand and you can't inhale and you will get a cancer. So it's also a lung disease first, therefore to be very careful, no time. Therefore, these things to be prevented for an employee. Safety is a right, not only privilege. Can you understand what is this? You, are you going to work to get accident or inhale uh, uh, unnecessary dust? Are you going to work to get salary? To, you are not uh, supposed to inhale uh, fumes or unnecessary dust. You are not supposed. That is your right. That's called right. Right? 
Therefore, employer must provide the safe workplace. That is the employer's duty. Safety is a birthright of employees. What this says, when you are born, you, you are an employee. You are, that is your birthright. It is not eliminated. Okay, therefore, it's a concept here. You can see skill, 82% uh, knowledge, 96% hard work, 98%. If you change your attitude, 100%. The employer to be changed, employee also to be changed, the attitude to provide a better workplace. That means safe workplace, safe workplace for healthy life to live happily, safe workplace for healthy life, safe workplace to prevent accident to uh, live happily, right? Uh, safety really is about attitude. If you see safety, if you put attitude, the uh, A equal one, and it's a concept, a T equal 20, and like that, if you substitute, if A equal one, B two, C three, D four, the Z will be 26, because 26 letters in the alphabet. You substitute here, skill, knowledge, hard. There are so many words you can take, money or what do you call it? leadership, all less than 100. Only attitude will come as 100. And if you change your attitude, that means work safely, safe workplace for healthy life to live happily, healthy life. That is your slogan. You have to be very careful. That's safety culture. And safety culture ladder you have to uh, uh, inbuild. If you can provide the safety inbuilt or inherent, that is good. But what you do here in Sri Lanka is not prevent you, it's react you. It's not in Sri Lanka, it's even uh, very pathetic, react to. Unahari unayam pasthe tamai, ekane, inquire, ekane, investigation karan. Developed country, not like that. Venna isala. If something goes wrong, that is their forecasting. Right? Unahari venna isala, they predicting. Predict karana, me meha venna pullu ankla. This can happen. And they prevent. They prevent the that is why they develop, right? Api manaharu unayam pasitama, we realize that is reactive, right? And, uh, but the, it should be generative. It should be in the inbuilt safety there, okay? Uh, safety culture, you have to change, change, you have to change our, not only the attitude, you have to change our safety culture ladder. Uh, then uh, country uh, will be prosperous, right? Not only that, anything. Even the industry or employee, uh, safe, uh, what you call healthy employees to be there for a nation. Okay, what is safety then? Up to now, I have explained nearly more than one now. Eh? Safety is the control of recognized hazard to attain the acceptable level of risk. You have to accept some risk. What is that? What is the acceptance? That is your permissible level of tolerance. That is the accept. Beyond that, don't accept. That means that you can go up to the PP last resort until such time. You have allowances. That's why I told you less than 0.3 micron. You have some body resistance. We call it in your resistive power in your body. Resistive power in your body. Beyond 5 micron, sometimes your mustache. If you cut your mustache, guard I uh, can uh, pass, uh, right? Yeah, purposely doing. That's how I have to change our attitude. Only that, you have to consider your health. Health is very important because uh, after that only you can work. Otherwise, you can't work. This you can see safety is for a uh, concept. It's a skill. You have to hard work and attitude, friendliness, effectiveness, thoughtfulness, and you and your brother's keeper. This keep... Uh, uh, one letter is one word. S is skill, first letter. A, attitude. F, like that, free from harm, safety and attitude, saves the way of life, okay? Safety is a value. You got to understand these things. I have no time to explain. Similarly, I told you that our law says safety, health, welfare, engineering, medicine, psychology, like that. Similarly, health also, you can put the concept, can be hygiene, environment, alertness, life, you can happiness similarly welfare well-being what to why why you come for work why you are if i ask if i ask why you why you today logged here and 
you are uh, following this uh, lecture right to give get get information if i ask what is the purpose of your life well being one thing in what is the purpose of your life why you are go for work one thing in what you are doing you see, free from stress. Welfare means health is wealth. You see, safety is free from harm. Health is wealth. And welfare is free from stress. You see, well being, entire work, not only for you, your entire work, lively facilities, availability, accessibility, readily. And in some construction site, they have a toilet for only for the safety manager or that they are engineers only. Employees, they don't have. They have to go for maybe uh, low says 25 employees has to use one toilet. If they're more than 26 employees, they do have to have, to have another toilet, male, female separately. And uh, 20 for one shower, 20 workers can have a one shower or tap. But nearly 200 people may be using one, one tap or one shower. This is a very pathetic situation in Sri Lanka. That's why you think safety, right? Think safety. The construction site is very worst in Sri Lanka. That's why accidents are high in Sri Lanka. The, the construction site. Safety is as simple as always be careful. Not only that, you have to be very careful. And otherwise, uh, you are frustrated and you got angry and uh, you maybe end up with accident. Because if you lose your conscious, if you're angry, you will meet with that accident. It's the problem. Finally, result will be accident. Mean you you maybe lose your uh, limbs and what do you call legs and limbs. Okay, this what says the means of accident access in the workplace, right? Safe means of access and safe place of employment. This section thirty one of the practice ordinance. Uh, person liable to fall a distance more than six feet. Law says six feet, but even three feet. If somebody uh, in the accidents from 1985, there are so many accidents happened. Nearly 37 years I am experienced in the labor department all over the island. I have those pictures to show you. Uh, I don't know whether I have time to show you here. No time to explain other theories here. What the why, why the mid rail and guard rail here. You can go through the notes later. This is called the harness, not the what you call belt. Belt, uh, you can keep it for the lifeline. Are you aware of lifeline above your waist, right? But harness is four point, right? Like this, right? And uh, no time to explain. If you want to prevent accident, you three causes of accident, you should understand this. I didn't see, you can't say, in the quotes you can't say, right? I didn't see, I didn't think, I don't know. Meva, Right? Three causes are no time to explain. Furthermore, you understand that a warning uh, graphic content says that the following images and the content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewers uh, description is strongly advised. If you are reluctant. If you are not uh, happy to see the blood or the accident, don't see. I will first show some uh, some accident, less accident. This says uh, what you call it, without blood. Later, I will show you some real accidents happens in Sri Lanka. These tools come with no spare parts. I hope you can understand. This is called con some sort of concept. See us last a lifetime. Even you, if you miss a, a chance. You may even blade can uh, cut your finger. Near potta kapana button blade taking, but at the at the muscles eva hamaka pagan pula. If be careful, no time to explain. Here you see it's a hot work. This cannot be uh, closer to the tank. What tank? Pressure vessel. Yeah, receive a tank. Eka lang lang in the gane meva cutting. Right, karanda. It's a very dangerous. Right, may spark may uh, have a fire. This says, see, hand grinder, no guard. You see, no cover here, no cover. 
don't have to be, there should be a cover note there. And not only that, uh, while he's talking, he's cutting the plank and finally end up with his finger. He was, he's, he's conscious. He was, he was thinking some, talking something and cutting his finger. Right. I told you, now the blood pictures will be coming. If you are, I told you, right here. Did I say it? Yeah. Discretion is strongly advised. Traffic content, right? If you are reluctant, you see here, visa accidents, no time to explain with the, the no induction like this. Then make Karanava gay, then what Karla? Construction site take all thing up again. Induction, introduction, the site take and they are not explained to the newcomers or the employees, the rural area people will come in. I will let town like a tower, a commerd dig in the garden, then the petter couple of healing the garden. The two commerd would not come in the garden. Okay, and you see here penetrated wooden plank penetrated the uh, heart here. He didn't die because his brain is working. You know, if you are, you are called dead, pronounced to death means doctor has to say that. If doctor say dead, dead means you are both head and what you call brain and heart stop. Here, heart is damaged, brain not stop. It's not died. That's why they keep three hours at the hospital. Right? Doctor have to mention in the postmortem report, uh, dead. He, he will say internal bleeding or whatever it is. Uh, but normal uh, engineer can't say he did, uh, died. Right? The doctor has to say that. Right? The cause of the death is given by the doctor. Cause of the accident to be given by the engineer. You understand, sir, you have to differentiate these things. Cause of the accident is the initiated. It's to be investigated by the engineer and to give the cause of the accident. Cause of the dead. Cause of the dead, dead person to be given by the doctor. Cause of the, uh, what do you call the dead person. This is also all accidents here. Uh, I will go quickly, no time to answer. Acetylene cylinder explosion. Acetylene told you carbide. They put water and oxygen is cheap. They buy, but carbide, they, they prepared the workshop. Pinto, they their own. No safety valve, no pressure gauge, nothing. No safety gadgets, safety accessories, not available. Try right. this, you see, 1,000 gigabyte, right, on the road. 1,000 gigabyte on the road. Kilo, mega, giga, tera, peta, not giga, it's beta, sorry, thousand petabyte on the road, the memory power of your brain. Even you have that, uh, more than that. Kilo, mega, giga, tera, peta, 10 to the power 18, right? 2 to the power 3 bits are called byte, one byte, your, your character, ABCD character. Okay. This is what our people, they are very, uh, what means like animals, they work even the some people are working at construction. So I have seen during my 30 years, 37 years experience. These are called unsafe act, uh, right? Wrong work post posture. It's called wrong work procedure without required PP. The necessary PP safety shoe not available. You see, even uh, the helmet not, to, the proper, proper helmet not, to, gloves. You can see here, right? They are climbing like animals, right? No time to explain. They are without any PP, even no safety belt, no harness. They are working on the roof more than six feet. If they fall and it will be dead body. This you see hanging and working. This man having some rope. Maybe you can keep it, take it as safety belt, but this is not the way. He has to use the safety harness. This one we have to. At least he's using this, but that also this is the correct one. Safety harness is the correct one. This you see unsafe, uh, what do you call unsafe right by trenching work underground, right? This also you can see. I'll, I'll go quickly. You visualize the photographs. I hope you can see these pictures. Can you see these pictures? 
Yes, yes. Yes, can, yes, okay. can see. You yes, see sir, the, yes, how, how the situation in Sri Lanka, like what, what is happening today, right? Our economic is not, uh, what do you call, managed by our senior, the, the, the previous people, the, those who are rule this country, not considered, right? The final, unfortunately, now we are end, at the end, we are suffering. Can't help, you have to come. Methaning or tsunami go down again, methaning go down and a bit of a crand on, right? The Arapiri Masne, Wagi go down, they will crand me, a bit of All over the world, they have problem. A bit of injection to Nagahala Gomari, on a pitting in the name. Yeah, alive to blame the even to the present government because, because of this injection, free injection. Do you know how much cost? Salute Ganda Belanka. Then more than one and a half lakh lakh se kama market ready and a bit ready. They go hari gala be panapiting in the to blame the government, right? Therefore, we are too fortunate and to, to alive panapiting in matter. So, you want to end right? Okay, this all. But we, what uh, if somebody have done a good thing that appreciates it's a very bad thing, we have to criticize and positive criticism too. Come up, let the go to end, right? Okay, this is what you see. You can see poor safety uh, practices. If the sand, soil damage broken here, you see their practices. No uniform, you see the casual uniform they are using. This is good safety practice. They are having some uh, shoes and material. No time to explain. Uh, you you just visualize the picture because we are adults, personal safety equipment, how the, you have to protect your these things and metal shoring. And uh, you see the angle wise, how you this the angle wise, you are when you are, if it is moisture, moisture means the more you need more angle to uh, uh, more angle to protect this. Uh, yes, this what okay, and uh, what do you call collapsing. Demol when demolishing, it may collapse. Okay. Right. And now these are the things, uh, confined space and working height. Okay. And these are unsafe pack they are doing now. It's closer to eight o'clock now. I'm just going, you see the ladder. That's the ladder also. There is a hint. What is hint? Thumb rule. There are three point contact to be there. There should be three point contact. It's a rule. Only one hand you can take, or one at a time, one leg or one hand. You have two hands and two legs. If you don't have two, two legs, don't climb the ladder. If you don't have two hands, don't climb the, because the, you, are, you are violating the rule. You should have to have both hands and both legs. Then only you can climb the ladder. The ladder itself, one is to four ratio, 75 degrees. You can measure these things. So by skill, skill, your experience, you do this. And three feet above the lashing. And this wrong practice, you see, this side. I hope you can see my cursor. You see, nothing, no, even one, one, one leg was not in, even one leg was not in the ladder. So totally is, uh, violating the law, right, the rule. This is another like that. Likewise, there are so many hint and what do you call uh, what, what else I can say? The thumb rules are there. No point to explain those things. Say we if you are interested, you can request from your what do you call from ISL, uh, the person or the your sectional committee. They will risk request for a, another day. We can uh, go to another what do you call. We will see in the next day those who are there are some there are some more accidents here uh, i don't know whether is it uh, possible to show you here uh, time is the problem i am moving here building net and the the uh, safety net in the building can you see the i have changed the slide now i have changed the slide is it visible uh yes visible but Yes. Building 
it's visible. Uh, it says, uh, Buddhika no. builders are some name here. And one man, what do you call, uh, falling from height. No, 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 it's not there. You had I a real idea. Okay, yeah. there are so many accidents available because from 1985, this accident, there is, uh, I don't think, yes, right, okay. To show, show you, now how we, right? Now it's okay, now okay. it's okay. Oh, no, okay. uh, I don't have time to explain all. We'll, we'll, we'll do it another day if you have problem. These are the accident uh, falling from height. And uh, you see some accidents you have seen earlier. And in between uh, moving heavy vehicles, in between court. So many people, some, one person died here. So many accidents like that you lose leg and hands. And these your fingers, right? Losing fingers while talking, they are working. While, while talking and working, they got accidents and these are the problem. And finally, uh, they have to go for physiotherapy. Otherwise, flexibility, they lost their flexibility. And you can see here, right? And uh, damaging and all, right? This harness, how is the harness helps you? Okay, and uh, right, that's all. Okay, and then finish. Uh, okay. And I have to share again, have to come back to here, right, okay. Screen. Right here. Try. I have changed the slide now, right? I have changed the slide. Have you got it? Uh, yes. This one is a, some cartoon like that, not a cartoon, actually, what you call uh, any animation. Okay. Can you see? Can you see some pathway demarcation here? Yes. I have changed the slide. Or shall I share again? Uh, oh, can can see, can see. Uh, it's a, it's a animation, right? Yeah. Not the animation real picture. is not there. You can see now here. Can you see this one? Yes. It's a diagram, mm -hmm. not the picture. Is side moving? No, slide is not moving. That's the thing I'm asking, right? I will share again. Okay, okay, wait. I will share again. How about now? Can you see that the, the crane crane is working, mobile crane is working, no. and the path, path there? No. No, only the picture. Uh, maybe ISL, they have stopped. I don't know what. I don't know what. Anyway, we'll see. Right. Okay. I don't know. Pasan, Pasan, can you hear me? Uh, I yes, don't. Ah, okay. Pasan is there. Okay. How is come? Uh, we can't see the animation, sir. The, the, the picture, can you see? Picture, the, yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Because no real, what do you call it, photo. This is not the photograph. Ah, okay. This we is, can see the okay. pictures. This is moving. This is what do you call it. These are composite. Yeah. The, the, the way, how you how you tackle the problem. Over the way, personal to Uttara. Okay. Shoring. How do you have to do the shoring? And it's called trench boxes. These are in a real situation, how you have to do this, right? Shoring and earth claps, earth claps, right? And uh, trench boxes, how you that. Okay, that I told you electricity is a good servant, bad master, until you switch off, uh, the, if there's LED bulb uh, lighting means current is used, right? Can you what? Can you understand what I'm telling? If you switch off from your remote, if you switch off from your remote, even your LED bulb is lighting. Mm -hmm. Even your LED bulb is on. What do you, what do you mean that? You are consuming some current. 
ටීවී එක රේඩියෝ එකේ කියනවා ඒ ස්විච් එකෙන් ඔෆ් කරන්න ස්විච් එක ඔෆ් කරන එක නිසා විසන්ධි කරනවා කියලා කියන්නේ until you switch off you are using the current heated one day you will the your house will be caught fire safety it's not automatic think about it until switch off your manually or switch checking off එකට දාන්න ඕනේ එතකන් සත් වෙනවා because all ac come to your equipment dc get heated and day you'll end up with a problem these are the things are not uh, what you call without earth only live and neutral in the transformer no earth here it's a danger it's only two two pin and electrocuted electrocuted means fatal not electric mission uh, electric shock say electric electrocuted mean electrocution means fatal viduli marne so one person died because of 50 rupees or maybe 100 rupee plug top no plug top one person died because water there that's right temporary temporary wiring no plug top one man got killed the construction site you understand if you have 100 rupee plug top this fatal accident could have been prevented you got the point what i am telling rupees see ekat මරණයක් සිද්ධ වුණා ප්ලග් ටොප් එකක් නැහැ. මං වගේ තියෙන ප්ලග් ටොප් එක ගලවලා වයර් දෙක ගහනවා ලේසියෙන්. මේකට මැච් වෙන්නේ නැත්තා. because earlier earlier they had round type now they has square pin. and they remove. wrong එක ගලවලා දැන් square නේ තියෙන්නේ වයර් දෙක ගහනවා. Okay, that's wrong. those are called wrong practices. you see this you have, even your phone charger your phone charger how to check safe it is not safe. it is safe if you have this mark can you see my cursor can you see my cursor wage phone charger e dan tiyenawa nan langa yes can specification eke photo dekak me wage tiyenawa de kiyala onama upakarana eka similarly this two three pin okay earth here okay. this is class 1 safety this is no safety here but here you have class 2 safe because this mark is there in handrail this mark here available in the specification if this mark here class 2 safety if both are there this class 2 safety double insulation of electrical me mark ek nattang e upakarane pavichi karanna epa if you don't have this mark in this specification this is not safe current ekak adina if you have both in this three pin and this mark that's called double safe you have three pin here good and uh, square double square double safe if you have two pin with this mark this mark double insulation that's called class 2 safe okay now time to explain this is iec 6 uh, 61111 if you Google, Google එකේ ගහන්න මේ ගහන YouTube YouTube එකේ තර මේ කාපට් එක පෙන්නනවා. So you have to select it. Electrical insulation mat, rubber mat දාන්න. You can't put rubber mat in front of the electrical panel board. Understand? Okay, කොහේ ගිහිල්ලා මේ නම්බර් එක? This is called standard, international standard. International electrotechnic. Similarly, there are so many standards. Not only standard, some clue are there. No time to explain. It's by ten now. Right. We have to stop now. Right here. Mm, okay. This is called uh, why you use the lifeline above your hip. Right. You know. I hope you can understand. This is hazards in construction industry. It's all about nearly two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, third. More than that available. Right. Uh, anyway, if you necessary. i will read it site planning layout and site planning layout continued there are and hazard in the excavations and other construction what are the other construction superstructure then multi story building bridges ship building those are the the factories on they call other construction but is coming under the uh, section 84 that's all anyway 
uh, question and discussion i have taken more than uh, 45 yeah more than the allowed time is one hour 8 uh, 8 10 now anyway you are <clears throat> i am i am very what you call thankful to you for your patience you are otherwise no no point to listening this lecture i told you construction very vast field i i i, I didn't touch everything only i have touched some accidents and some excavations that's all and some general practices this call uh, common sense some general knowledge only i have mentioned any anyway uh, if you have any questions you can ask question and discussions i have to thankful for your for your patience only 20 were now available anyway mr pasan uh, so ask them to if you have any questions even if you have question you can ask pasan you have any yeah, question uh, thank you very much sir for the very high point uh let's uh, let's uh, first ask from the audience sir because i missed the better part of your lecture due to a signal failure okay so and thank you very much sir for the very eye opening lecture that uh, i think it was really important that you talked about many aspects of construction safety and also especially is about the we got some many new information from your lecture such as those uh, new amendments to work at workers compensation act and so forth uh, yes i yes. think the audience uh, they must have also new regulations uh, they also must way. have a lot of questions so if you yeah. have it's the time to speak up there are five new regulations during my time when i was commissioner and after that additional commissioner general we were able to 2019 pass by the parliament those lecture done in isl is available in the uh, website isl google everything is there youtube they have you just type new regulations you get and you will get there about four five videos in the, in the industrial safety procedure in that uh, all the pressure vessels uh explosion and implosions in sri lanka boiler uh, steam boiler steam receiver air receiver gas receiver gas holders like that there are five pressure vessels those uh, accidents from 85 to 2018 18 yes was there 18 19 was there you can uh, you can see the industrial safety procedure if you type you can will get that video and uh, new regulation if you have all public lectures so available uh finally you should understand that you are the most important safety device in your company that means you respect yourself first you give value to you first then you you should take the challenge because i have so many works and but i was uh, just able to today manage it today uh, because after five only i came from my workplace and anyway that is the dedication is needed even if you are working at a, some place you have to work for what the what, what is the salary you are getting uh, that is very important that's why my most the reason the failure in sri lanka oba ganna padiyata sadharana vedak karanna that's all yeah? you should understand uh, that's why the things happen to sri lanka today that anyway you think that you will realize that any question uh, uh, you can ask me please now 8:15 any question i have one question okay good you can ask can you hear me yes yes now yes, i can uh, i can hear about, uh, identifying hazards uh, yeah. on site and assess the risk what what yes. sort of methods yes. you use to do that do you document it uh, on yeah, site it. Or... yes 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 you have to follow prepare the checklist i hope you are an engineer when whether you are passed out from university or not but your brain says you are a, you have engineer doctor and a lawyer in in in, in within you if you uh, wake up your engineer he will tell you when you are entering even to your house you can prepare your own checklist whether you see in your uh, entrance steps yeah, yeah, yeah i understand that but, but my question is in 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 sri lanka in construction site do you do it do you, uh, you have to prepare the checklist first construction site you have to prepare the checklist 
as they, but, no, no, I know, but I know, I know you have to prepare it. But in in reality, do you do you do it on site in Sri Lanka? Because I I am not from actually. I don't live in Sri Lanka. That's why I'm asking the question. So do uh, you yeah. actually do it? No, yeah. no, that's the thing. Not yet. The regulations not yet passed. Oh, not yet passed by the regulation. Only the law says you should have to have safety. But mm -hmm. uh, regulations to be passed. They are preparing now. The, the labor department preparing very soon. It will be get passed by the parliament. Until such time, you can check the standards and codes are available. So many standards, right. codes, even checklists are available in the internet, even the neighboring country. country. Singapore has very, very good code and guidelines. You can use that. Where are, where are you staying? Which country you are staying? I mean, Australia. Then they have enough codes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. That's why I'm asking. I, I don't try to compare. You, you use those codes in Sri Lanka. You can introduce those. They're the same, no problem. Only thing different, yeah, they yeah. develop. We are not developed. The only that too, but the, the, the things, stuff is same. The water, the, the stuff, engineering matters, you the use the, that checklist here. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. same. Any other and question? Also you mentioned uh, one more, you know, the in, in that you showed the workers' compensation table, you know, how much a person gets. Pay, yeah, yeah, they increase in case case of a death or accident. But why do you use the word kamkarua? Kamkarua in single. Yeah, no, no, but no. why kamkarua? Because kamkarua is just the one category of labor. There are so many people working on site. Why do you use why do you use the word kamkarua? This is from uh, beginning. From yeah. those days, they see because kamkaru depart the means you know. Ah, so kamkarua means any worker, any worker. Yeah, yeah. Any labor, labor, labor actually. Layman. Even the layman now liable uh, entitled. Yeah, I know, but if, if for example a project manager gets injured. Uh, that's also covered, I suppose. Yeah, that's why the new law uh, employee. The, the Kamkarua word not used now so okay. long. Yeah. New law oh, to be passed okay. by the parliament recently. Mm -hmm. It is uh, available on in the queue. Uh, we were able to pass the regulations, but uh, the new law they are preparing now. There are so many amendments and so many time uh, legal draftsmen returning because the, the here problem is uh, informal agriculture and fishery. The, those yeah. employees are not mm -hmm. in the one place uh, at a time. Uh, the, in the sea, they they in the one place and they, they move to another place. That's why they, they are moving. And then the, 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 the what you call coverage. Agriculture mm -hmm. also same. The, the employees okay. not in the... Uh, at a time, one place. That's in a, another after in a one a half an hour, he'll be in another place. That's the thing. Moving and uh, the informal sector, uh, very difficult to define. The, uh, that uh, that's why uh, some or other they manage to they will do it very recently because they are preparing nearly more than ten years, you know, fifteen years that uh, new new OHS law for Sri Lanka. If that law comes safety for all, because during uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa's time. He initiated these things, labor labor charter. After that, it was not realized and uh, unable to pass by the parliament yet. Some wording and situation, um, some employer federations are employer against uh, the, some these things. Therefore, finally, some or other like uh, this thing happened, what you call the increase in the compensation, it will be passed by the parliament soon. That uh, everybody will be covered this new law, new law to come. Yeah. At that time is called employee, not come yeah, 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 yeah. Any any question? It's almost 820. Any questions you can ask? Which part of Australia you are living? Oh, I mean uh, Western Australia in Perth. You studied, you did your degree study there? Yeah. Uh, studied there and now working there. So you are yeah. you are joining from Australia over here. Sri no, no, in Australia. Ah, you came Sri Lanka now. No, 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 no. I'm in Australia. Uh, uh, what do you call the Mr. Pasan? Pasan, are you? Can you hear me? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. If they don't have any question, uh, no point to waste in there. They are patient now, more than for nearly two hours they are waiting. Shall we yeah. stop here? Uh, yes, uh, we can conclude the session then.
Okay. Okay. Who will be? Who is going to conclude? Yeah. Who is going to conclude? Conclude the session. Are you? Are you going to conclude the session? Hassan, uh, it's not Hassan. Yes. Hassan, will you will you do the concluding remarks? Uh, please uh, do, sir. Because I have a very like my signal strength is very low. Okay, I will I will do. Uh, right. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm Chulani Pereira, the leader of the team. Good. Of the CLNP thing. Uh, unfortunately, okay. I think uh, it was a very informative lecture. Unfortunately, the participants were unable to get it, uh, get the full this thing because I think because of the power shortages, uh, yeah, power, maybe. Right, right. power cut, not the shortage, power cut. So uh, participants were very uh, limited, but anyway, very informative lecture. Uh, since you are giving it to us, uh, uh, I mean, the, this, this is recorded. We will be able to uh, give it to the interested parties. Uh, once again, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Jans, and we yeah. highly appreciate your work. Uh, uh, probably we will we will try to get you in one of these. Uh, you know, uh, uh, now the COVID situation is also a bit improving, so we can have a physical session. So in the future, we will try to uh, make a. Uh, uh, physical session. Uh, uh, once again, thank you so much for giving your time uh, uh, and giving a valuable information. Uh, and thank you very much for the uh, organizers also uh, and the participants and the IESL staff for uh, providing this, uh, this thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck.